This is what a modern day miracle looks like, according to the Prime Minister, a jobs miracle. At Brompton Bikes in West London, they've taken on 12 extra staff in the past three months, part of the record 31 million now in work. This time round, there was a lot more jobs out there. There's recruitment websites, there was a lot on LinkedIn, there's far more choice, so you could kind of actually pick and choose rather than maybe kind of going into something that you wouldn't necessarily want to do, which, was, which obviously was quite nice. As an engineer, I think it's easy to get a job at the moment. It's very vivid. I, I was getting calls two, three per day from agents. There's no doubt that today's figures are impressive. The number of people out of work is now at its lowest level since 2008, before the recession hit. As these are the last set of job numbers before the election, the big question is this. Is what the government calls its jobs miracle, translating into people actually being, or at least feeling, better off. You only have to look at the level of vacancies to see a job market in rude health. Flat for the first three years of the coalition, today at 743,000, the highest number on record. But the growth in earnings has been slower, at or below 2%. And with inflation rising more quickly, it's meant that in real terms, pay has fallen. That has changed, but only in the last six months. Today's news, though, is tricky for Labour. So while having to welcome the figures, they said the so-called jobs miracle was not quite what it seemed. The reality is we know that many of these jobs are low paid. The number of people paid less than living wage has gone up by one and a half million in the last uh, few years. And there are now 1.8 million zero hour contract uh, jobs in the economy. And that's no good for people who uh, need to know from day to day, let alone week to week, uh, what they're going to be taking home. But the landscape of work is changing, said the Welfare Secretary today, who said zero hours contracts offered a good work-life balance and were part of the good news story on employment. 60% of those jobs are managerial level jobs, so not low pay jobs. 75% are full time jobs and over 60% are taken by British nationals as opposed to what happened under Labour, which is 90% were taken by foreign nationals. So this is a big change, uh, security uh, for everybody that takes a job. Chaz Lockett, a university graduate, spent eight months on a zero hours contract. Now unemployed, he campaigns against them. The notion they improve people's work life balance, he says, is laughable. They're flexible for one group of people, and that's employers. You know, if employers have a large group of uh, employees that they can call on at short notice, you know, often only at minutes, uh, minutes notice, then it's fantastic for employers. But for the workforce, you constantly end up sitting by the phone wondering if you're going to get employment that day. You know, it's only flexible, as I say, for one group of people. For people like Chaz, today's figures fight the reality of his life. And this election may well depend on just how many people feel the recovery in their lives, as well as see it in the statistics.